Hi everyone, today I wanted to make a short video um, on the placement of objects and what to be mindful of when rotating objects or using the uh, flip options. All right, let's get into it. So basically the Figma canvas um, is a set of coordinates. It's a set of um, X coordinates, which is on the X axis, which is the horizontal. Uh, coordinates and we've got the vertical ones which is on the y-axis so for instance if we create an object uh, let's create a rectangle here we've created this object on top of the x-coordinate which is 485 and on top of the y-coordinate which is 200 2128 now if we move this uh, want to move this to the right we can adjust the coordinates by increasing them if we want to move it to the left we decrease them if we want to move it down, we will increase the Y coordinates. If we want to move it up, you decrease the Y coordinates. Now, the one thing I want to note is the origin point of an object. So whenever you place an object in Figma, it needs to know where it's going to be on the canvas. So right now we are 507 pixels um, from the origin of the canvas. Um, in terms of the x axis and in terms of the y axis we are 2118 pixels so right now that kind of doesn't mean anything to us because the canvas is just a big like never-ending thing that you can draw on however when we start implementing frames for example if we've got a our, our mobile screen here and we drag this object inside of our mobile screen we have now set the coordinates based or in relation to this frame. So this frame becomes a mini canvas and now it tells the object where it's going to be placed within. So for instance, um, the origin point of an object is always located on the top left. So top left point, which is this point here for this square and this point here for this uh, frame. So if we want to move this square or uh, rectangle flush up to the top left of the frame, we can just set the coordinates for this, zero for X and zero for Y. And now you can see it's flush against um, the top left. So why is this important to understand? Well, um, the origin point stays on the top left. However, if you are, for instance, uh, let, let's say we want to um, create a set of arrow icons. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and let's just grab the pencil tool to make this uh, easier. So let's say we've got our um, chevrons or arrows. You've created this one here. This is your, let's say this is your component. And instead of redrawing this, you know, three other times for the other directions, you want to grab it. You want to rotate this to have your arrow up, arrow right. And then you want to flip these as well. So let's flip this one. Um, horizontally, let's flip this one vertically. So now we've got our set of arrows. I'm just gonna move them away here. So what have we done? We have rotated that one. We have rotated and flipped that one and we have flipped that one um, horizontally. So if we get the original one and we set the coordinates to zero and zero, as you can see, the origin point of this object matches the origin point of this frame, which is fine. However, if we get one that has been flipped for instance, let's grab this one. This one's been rotated and we set it zero to zero. Look what happens. That is because we have rotated or flipped the actual origin point itself. So if you are creating your designs and you are um, using um, the coordinates to place things and you're coming across this problem, it's most definitely because you have flipped the origin point. Now, another issue that can arise from this, for example, um, let's say uh, we're working with an object like a square, something like that, and you've rotated it. Um, you want to use this design, you've placed it somewhere, and now you want to adjust the width of this um, square. So for instance, we want to go, okay, let's adjust the width of this. You start increasing it, but it's not increasing the width, it's increasing the height. Again, that is because you have rotated that object. And now when you're increasing the width, the width of this object is based on the origin. So now you are actually increasing the what, what it looks like, the height. However, right now, if we set this object's rotation to zero degrees, you can see that you've actually adjusted the width. 
So how can you reset the origin point for an object? For example, if you've done something like this, what can you do to reset it back to the top left? Oh, well, that's easy. What you can do is you can select the object that you've got, right click, and there's a thing called flatten. So what flatten does, it, it basically creates an object based on your selection. So whatever you've selected, it will recreate it as, its, as a default object. So for instance, if we've got this here, the origin point has been rotated. If we do uh, flatten, as you can see right now, there's a 90 degree rotation here. If we say flatten, everything gets flattened. You no longer have your rotation. Everything gets kind of wiped and recreated. So now you've got um, an object with a reset origin point. So if we say zero and zero, as you can see, it goes to the top left of the screen. Keep in mind that if you want to flatten multiple objects, you have to do them individually because the way the flatten um, tool works is that it creates an object based on your entire selection. So if I flatten all of this, so if I say I want to flatten three of these and I select them all, I click flatten, what it does, it creates an entire object from this selection. So you have to be careful when you're doing that. So select them individually and then you can hit Command E or Control E to do it really quick. And now you've reset the origin point for all of that. If we do zero and zero, you can see they're all bunching up um, at the very top left corner. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, if you learned something new, please like and subscribe and have a great day.